Hello, Kamato Class! Welcome back sa isa na namang pagtuklas ng aralin sa mathematics. There are some questions that can be answered by gathering data and providing various answer, such as what is presented. This topic will cover this presentation. This presentation is about an introduction to statistics with a special emphasis on process problems that can be solved using statistics. This will assist us in understanding what statistical questions are. Let us start working first with statistics. Statistics is the branch of mathematics concerned with collection, organization, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of numerical data. We will be using this process when dealing with statistics. As we introduce a question in our introduction, one more thing to know is what is a statistical question. And a statistical question is one that can be answered by gathering data and where the answer can vary. Let us look at some examples of questions. How old are you? Another one is, How old is your classmate? What is or what are the possible answers to the two questions? And let us try to look at the first question a while ago. How old are you? So, this can be answered with a single number. For instance, your answer is, I am 18 years old. So, there is a fixed answer. Isa lang yung sagot. While the other question, let us see. How old is your classmate? Let us look at the possible answer. Pwede mong isagot, you're 18, you're 17, you're 19 because you are asking your classmate. This is an example of what we call a statistical question because you need to gather information to your classmate or you need to gather data from your classmate. And at the same time, answer very. So, ibig sabihin, iba't iba yung magiging sagot. Like this. So, these are the possible answer of your classmate. Pwede yung sabihin niya, 16, 15, 17, 19, 15, 18, 20, 19, 17, and 15. The answer vary. So, this is an statistical question. So, itong tanong na to ay example ng statistical question. So, let us try to continue working with that. Mas alamin natin ang statistical question with the different examples. Okay, so let us identify or identifying statistical question. Let's have the first one. How old is your dog? Okay, is this a statistical question? Not a statistical. Why? Let's see the reason. Answerable by knowing the age of the dog. So, ibig sabihin, kung ang dog ay 2 years old, so yun lang ilalagay natin. Then there is a fixed answer or there is one answer. So, sabi nga, single number ang pwedeng makasagot dito. This can be answered with a single number. So, collecting data that varies, that not provide an answer to this question, sabi nga natin, single answer lang yung magibibigay natin with this question. Let us try to change the question to this. On average, how old are the dogs in your neighborhood? Okay, this is a statistical questions. Okay, let's see the result. Answerable by knowing the age of the dogs. So, dito yung isang dog lang ang pinag-usapan. Dito, mga iba't ibang uh, mga dogs na yung pag-uusapan natin. 
So, magsasurvey ka na ngayon or you will be working with data collections to answer this question kasi you will be asking the neighborhood regarding the age of the dogs. And at the last, the answer may vary. So, ibig sabihin, possible, there are different answers. Okay, let's have this one. Do you like mangoes? Not a statistical question because there is a single response to this question. Do you like mangoes? You can answer me yes or if not, you can answer me no. So, collecting data that varies does not provide an answer to this question kasi nga, isa lang yung sagot. Then, let's change the question to this. What percentage of your school student like mangoes? In other words, ito ngayon ay statistical because not a single student can ask to provide an answer because you wanted to ask the students. Therefore, data collection will be used to answer this question by asking the students. So, maraming estudyante na pwede kang tanungin at ang kanilang sagot ay magkakaiba. The answer may vary. Okay, how about this one? What was the temperature in Rizal province at noon today? Not a statistical there is a single temperature to answer the question. Siyempre, noon lang yung tinatanong. So, there will be a single answer with that. So, collecting data that varies that not provide an answer to a question or to the question. Kasi nga, isa lang yung possible answer. Then, how about this one? What were the daily temperature at noon in Rizal province in September? So, this is a statistical reason. The answer are the daily temperatures for the month of September. So, mula September 1 up to September 30. So, magkakaiba na yung magiging sagot. So, collection would be used to answer this question and the answer may vary. So, I hope uh, nagkakaroon na talaga tayo ng idea with respect to problems in statistics. And let's have this one. So, paano kung we have this Five questions. So, let's identify that. I-box natin ng red kapag statistical at i-box natin ng yellow kapag hindi statistical. So, unang tanong, how many days are in September? Answer. Okay, yellow. So, not statistical kasi nga, isa lang yung pwedeng sagot. So, 30 days mayroon sa September. Uh, next question, what do students in grade 12 prefer to eat for lunch? Statistical or not statistical? What's your answer? Okay, so statistical. Kasi nga, there are various answers with this. Kasi possible, iba-iba yung uh, kinakain ng mga estudyante sa lunch. So, iba-iba uli yung sagot. Next question. How many bricks are there in this backyard fence? So, what do you think? Okay, so not statistical. Kasi isa lang yung pwedeng sagot. So, sa backyard mo, or sa backyard na tinutukoy, pilangin lang natin yon at isa lang yung magiging sagot. Next question. What time did the 7th grade student sleep? Okay, so statistical. Kasi possible, iba-iba ng oras ng, kung matulog yung mga grade 7 students. And the last one, how many hours per month did students spend studying mathematics? How many hours per month did students spend studying mathematics? So, it is statistical kasi nga per month yung titignan natin at magkakaiba yung possible maging sagot doon. Okay, so sana nagkaroon na tayo ng idea yung mga real life question that can be asked with respect to statistics. So, another thing when we talk of statistics is we need to work on this. Dapat daw, we know the two types of data. So, there are two types of data when we talk of asking question. One is numerical data sets and the other one is categorical data sets. Kailan numerical data sets? This is a type of data that is expressed numerically rather than natural language. With this, ang magiging sagot natin lagi ay number. Okay? So, for example, nagsisensus, sa temperature, sa age, sa time, and so many. So, pwede rin height, pwede rin weight, and a lot more. How about categorical? Categorical is the data that can 
is the data that can have non-numerical value. So, hindi na to numerical. For example, nito color. So, kapag pinag-uusapan lang ang kulay, the labels, so, for example, large, medium, or small. So, yan yung dalawang types of data. So, let's see if we understand this already. Okay, identify each of the following data sets as categorical or numerical. If it is categorical, so, i-box natin ang blue. Kapag numerical, box it with orange. So, let's have the first one. It's grade 11 diamond student eye color. So, is it categorical or numerical? So, dahil ang pinag-uusapan natin ay color of the eyes of the student, then we call that as categorical. Okay, how about the next? The student shampoo of choice. So, ang pinag-uusapan natin, yung gustong gamitin shampoo. So, categorical ulit yan. Kasi we are talking of a, a shampoo lang dyan. Walang number na involved na pinag-uusapan. Okay, the third one, the number of pets in a village household. So, number na ng pets. Ang pinag-uusapan natin, so numerical na yan. Then, each senior high school student, favorite milk tea flavor. So, Kategory uli kasi pinag-uusapan yung milk tea flavor. So, categorical. And the last one, weights of 7th grade student. So, this is numerical. So, sana nagkaroon na tayo ng idea with respect to the introduction, with respect to statistics, especially with statistical question and the types of data. That's all, Kamato class. God bless us.